The Iveco Super AV represents a cutting-edge amphibious armored personnel carrier, APC, conceived initially as a private venture. Unveiled to the public in 2009, its development likely stemmed from the Italian VBM Freccia 8x8 infantry fighting vehicle utilized by the Italian Army, distinguishing itself by its lighter build compared to the Freccia and endowed with amphibious capabilities. The Super AV targeted potential adoption by the Italian Army and international markets. Despite this, the Italian Army did not express interest in the vehicle. However, a modified version of the Super AV was proposed to fulfill a U.S. Marine Corps requirement for a new amphibious APC, aimed at replacing their LAV-25. In 2018, the adapted Super AV triumphed in the U.S. Marine Corps competition, securing adoption as the Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV. The Super AV boasts armor providing protection against small arms fire, artillery shell splinters, landmines, and improvised explosive devices. For enhanced protection, it can be equipped with an add-on armor kit. With a payload capacity of 9 tons for amphibious operations and 10 tons for land operations, it can accommodate additional armor if needed. The vehicle is equipped with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Iveco asserted that the Super AV offered the highest level of protection in its class upon its introduction, although official information regarding its protection level is limited. Adaptable for various weapon systems, including remotely controlled weapon stations or turrets with assorted cannons, the APC can transport 12 troops alongside the driver. If a two-man turret is installed, capacity reduces to eight troops. Troops enter and exit via a rear power-operated ramp with integral doors, supplemented by roof hatches for observation, firing, and emergency egress. Powered by an Iveco Cursor 13 turbocharged diesel engine producing 500 to 560 horsepower, the Super AV features a multi-fuel capability. It is paired with a ZF automatic transmission boasting seven forward and one reverse speed. With a hydropneumatic suspension and an 8x8 configuration, the vehicle offers optional steering on the fourth axle. Additionally, it features a central tire inflation system and run-flat tires. Fully amphibious, it can operate up to sea state 2 and beyond, propelled by two water jets. Offered in two body widths, 2.7 meters and 3 meters, the latter provides greater amphibious payload capacity. The vehicle can be airlifted by an Airbus A400M or similar military transport aircraft. Another notable project involving Iveco is the Guarani, a Brazilian 6x6 APC developed in collaboration with the Brazilian Ministry of Defense. Initially known as VBTP Mr. Wild Medium Armored Personnel Carrier, Basic Platform, the project was later renamed Guarani. Development commenced in 2007, with the first mock-up unveiled in 2009 and completion achieved by 2011. Brazil ordered an initial batch of 86 Guarani APCs in 2012, with deliveries occurring between 2013 and 2014. Full-scale production commenced in 2013, with these vehicles replacing aging Brazilian E-9 Cascaveu armored cars and E-11 Yurutu APCs. The Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV, program, initiated by the U.S. Marine Corps as a replacement for the LAV-25, began as the Marine Personnel Carrier, MPC, program. After the original MPC program was cancelled in 2013, it merged with the ACV program in 2014. The ACV had to be manufactured in the USA, prompting Iveco to collaborate with BAE Systems for expedited entry into the US market. The Super AV's hull underwent reshaping to enhance buoyancy and amphibious speed, accompanied by various modifications. Equipped with a more powerful Iveco Cursor 16 engine delivering 700 horsepower, the resulting vehicle boasted improved armor protection and enhanced amphibious capabilities. Accommodating a crew of 3 and 13 Marines, the ACV can operate in up to sea state 3 conditions. Selected as the winning design in 2018, BAE Systems secured a contract for the delivery of the initial 30 production vehicles, with more expected to follow. Production of these ACVs is slated to begin in 2019-2020 to 2020 at BAE Systems plants in the United States.